Hello, my name is Mary Moore and I'm a member of the League of Women Voters. The League is a nonpartisan organization dedicated to making sure and helping voters make informed choices. We also are concerned with public policy and so advocate for sound public policy. Both men and women are welcome to join the League and we are eager for new members. This morning, we have two candidates for the Thurston County uh, Public Utility District to talk to. We have on my far left, Linda Osterman, and next to me, Steve Fossum. Lady and gentleman, <laughs> we will start with your opening comments. Linda, we'll start with you. You have two minutes. Thank you. Hello, I want to thank the League of Women Voters, TCTV, and all of you who are joining us to watch this program. I'm Linda Osterman, running for Thurston, PUD Commissioner District 1. I choose to live in Olympia because of its natural beauty. It includes rivers, streams, lakes, and the Puget Sound, along with three watersheds. I know we live in Pacific Northwest, known all the year, except this year, as the rainiest place to live. But as our world is facing serious water issues, we are not immune. What some of you may not realize is that we are facing our own serious water problems in Thurston County. Groundwater is not renewable. Surface water must be able to flow freely without contamination. I believe we are up to this challenge and that with the brilliant minds of the public that we are going to be able to benefit our residents and our businesses, our economic growth is vital. I want our county to have healthy, safe, and plentiful drinking water, and I want it to be sustainable, leaving the same privilege to our future generations. My experience as a manager includes Director of Human Services Program at Grace Harbor College, Manager of Grace Harbor County Designated Mental Health Professionals, and that work includes hiring, budget setting, changing program directions, collaborating with funding, and this work includes collaborating with other agencies, setting agreements, and coming back to my staff and telling them why we have to change again. I also at one time owned my own practice, obtaining a state contract with the Vietnam veterans. I have taught disaster preparedness through the local Red Cross, and I am a mediator, having taken the courses through the local dispute center. I believe my fit is natural. The variety of work that has been given to me is what is needed to serve as your next Thurston PUD Commissioner. Thank you, Linda. Steve. Thank you very much. Greetings voters of Thurston County. My name is Steve Fossum. I'm running for PUD Commissioner. I spend a lot of time knocking on doors and talking to voters one-on-one, -on -one and telling them about myself and why they should vote for me. I end up spending a lot of time educating voters not just about myself, but about the PUD in general. A great number of our citizens don't even realize that we have a PUD in this county. One of the reasons I'm running for PUD commissioner is because I believe the PUD could be doing more to serve the citizens of our county. Right now, the PUD is a water-only utility, but there are other utilities besides water. If the Public Power Initiative passes, that will give the PUD the option to study the feasibility of becoming an electricity provider and act responsibly if the numbers pencil out and will lower rates for consumers. Right now, without a public vote, the PUD could become a wholesale distributor of high-speed internet. That is an issue I pledge to study more as PUD commissioner. I talked to many voters about high-speed internet and it's clearly an issue that resonates with them. They are dissatisfied with their current service and they want a lower cost alternative. Sewer is another utility that deserves the PUD's attention. Old and failing septic systems threaten to pollute our groundwater and with a public vote, the PUD could step in to provide sewer systems and help protect our environment. A PUD commissioner is a public servant 
A PD commissioner acts in the best interests of citizens, not just in their own districts, but for all citizens of Thurston County. I'm a longtime public servant, having spent the last 21 years working for the Division of Child Support, helping to give families economic security and financial independence. I'm proud to have spent my entire working career serving the public. I understand what it means to work under public scrutiny and with open meetings and public disclosure rules. I understand how to be a good steward of public resources and to work in, for lack of a better word, a bureaucracy. It's quite different than working for a private company or a public, or excuse me, a nonprofit entity. I have a long time commitment to public service and I want to expand this commitment by becoming your next PUD commissioner. Thank you and please vote for Steve Fossum for PUD commissioner. Thank you both. Now we'll, we will begin the um, questioning part of our program. And Linda, I'm going to start with you. You will have two minutes to answer this question. Steve, you will have one minute to respond. So our first question today is, what is your vision for the PUD in the water supply business? Should the PUD continue to take over the operations of poorly funded and operated systems? That has two parts to it. <laughs> the, um, I'm gonna ask, answer the last part. I believe that the PUD does a good service in taking over failing water systems. And those failing water systems mean that they're leaking, mean that they need to either have um, much more testing, testing every month through the health department, through the state department. But also many of those failing systems, literally their infrastructure has disintegrated over many, many years. And it is time for us to rebuild and that takes the cooperation of a PUD who can work well with those people that are being serviced, talk to them about the way it's going to be done, the way it's going to be financed, and then how we're going to proceed from there. It seems to me that we have, the, the PUD has been managing and acquiring rural water systems. The, Managing of those systems has not turned out to be financially as equal as owning the systems. So my proposal is that if we're going to manage water systems, the small rural water systems, that we're going to have to have an agreement with those people that they're going to be paying equal share to the others. I think that we need to look at some of the new ones that are coming along. I think we also need to look at maybe purchasing some more water rights that are available. Um, though, especially when we get to East County. East County does, is struggling between Lacey and Yelm with their water rights. And that also has to do with how businesses can plan, how people can plan with their real estate to build large businesses Thank and you. be able to serve them. Thank you. Steve, you have a minute to respond to this question. Thank you. My vision for the PD includes expanding beyond just water to serve more of our county's residents and provide lower cost utilities for consumers. In the past, the PD has either purchased outright or agreed to manage a number of water systems in the various sizes and states of disrepair. I'm not opposed to the PD continuing to do this, but I really want to see um, the PD establish a set of criteria for the sake of transparency and publish those to the PD's website. So they are, our entire citizenry knows um, exactly how the PUD decides to take over a water system. Uh, additionally, I think that uh, given the fact that the PUD now operates water systems in four different counties, I would like to see any future acquisitions or um, management agreements to concentrate on Thurston County. I would like to see the PUD's resources uh, uh, remain here in Thurston County to serve our citizens first. Thank you. All right, are you ready for your second question, Steve? Are you ready for my second question? I'm ready for your second <laughs> question. Population is expected to grow rapidly in Thurston County, as you know. Um, what should be the PUD's role in planning for water service for future growth? Well, one of the things um, I've been looking at recently is LOT is doing um, doing upcoming study on using reclaimed water to recharge our aquifers. And that's something that I believe the PD should be involved with. I believe 
the PD should have a seat at the table in this study. Um, we share this aquifer, not just with the PUD, with the, the city of Olympia, the city of Lacey, the city of Yelm. It's all the same water table. Um, and I believe we should all be working with LOT, all the municipalities should be working with LOT uh, and, and in regards to this study of using reclaimed water to recharge um, the aquifers. Mm -hmm. Linda, what do you think? Could you repeat that? Sure. Population is expected to mm -hmm. grow rapidly in Thurston County. What should be the PUD's role in planning for water service for future growth? Uh, as I stated in the beginning, I believe that there are some water rights that can be purchased. And I have been to EDC meetings and real estate forums, listening to people talk um, about how hard it is to plan to be able to build and have large businesses come and reside in Thurston County. So one of the things that I suggest is that we have plentiful water that is available to these businesses. Also for expanding in terms of um, home building. But not until we have adequate water to supply those residents and those businesses. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. We have um, our third question, which you will start with, Linda. Do you support public power in Thurston County? Why or why not? I support public power in Thurston County if the voters say that that is what they want. And if I look at all the facts that are reliable, all the information that has been properly vetted, and vetted in terms of risk management and the economics. If we have looked at the Department of Revenue, if we know exactly what the B&O taxes are going to be in the tax levy shifting that will happen with this. PUDs do not pay property tax, they pay a B&O tax. PSE play, pays property tax. So there's some taxing issues with that. There's also operational expenses there's also municipal bonds, the various uh, financial ends of this, I have been told are um, changeable. Those numbers changed uh, in the last week they've changed. But when we get down to actually purchasing that, those numbers will change some more. And we just simply don't know what they are. If the people of this county can get PUD services for the same rate that they get them now, and if they can get the service as good or as better than what they get now, then I will support it. Thank you. Steve? Yes, I do support the Public Power Initiative, and I have supported the Public Power Initiative uh, since well before they had enough signatures to put it on the ballot. Um, I believe the Public Power Initiative is the beginning of the conversation about public power in this county. Um, I believe that the, uh, as I said in my, in my opening statement, that the PUD could be serving more citizens here in Thurston County, and the Public Power Initiative would be a way of doing that. Um, but as commissioner, I would support becoming an electricity provider only after careful study and um, lots of public input. Um, if, if the numbers don't pencil out, then I will not support public power in Thurston County. But if I do believe it will work, I will become public power's biggest advocate. And for me, the biggest thing about it is, will it um, save money for the consumers here in Thurston County, and will, will it provide more efficient service? So I'll follow that question with the next. If Prop 1 uh, does pass, what critical components do you think need to be in place before you would move to proceed with implementing a PUD power system? Um, well, one of the things I really think is important is, is public input. Um, we have a lots of different opinions in this county, and I think with careful study, with, um, with a full study, which would cost um, a little more than the preliminary study that the PD has already done, um, if we want to uh, present the, the full study to citizens and let them comment on it, I think that is the most important aspect of it. Um, and if the study work, if um, I become, like I said, public power's big, big advocate, if I think it's going to work and save money for our rate payers, then I think that we need to um, just lay it all out for, for customers 
and make sure that in every step of the process they have a say in the decision making and um, so that we make the, the right decision for citizens and not make it seem like it's a top-down decision made only by the PUD commissioners themselves. Linda, what, is your, your thought, what are your thoughts about this? What critical elements, critical components do you think need to be in place before you would move to proceed? Some of those I answered, I think, in the last mm -hmm. question. But I, there was one part that I didn't answer, and that is something that Steve just touched on. And that is uh, working, be, because the PUD in their initial studies now have talked about various areas and that they would not take over the entire county at one time, that then we would need to be able to really sit down at a table with the leaders in the community and the residents in that community and dialogue with them and find out what it is that they want. And at that, because I hear at this point, well, now it's just going to be our area, not somebody else's area, or, you know, can read about whatever you want today. But what I'm, I'm concerned about is representing all of the voters of this county. And in this case, then it wouldn't be all of the voters, it would be just some of the voters. So we'd have to go to the very specific areas that it would affect those people and listen to what they have to say and honor their wishes. I'm going to skip to our last question. I will give you both two minutes to answer it <laughs> um, because it's a very important one. So I'll start with you, Linda. What can voters expect to see as the principal value that you bring to the Thurston PUD Board of Commissioners? The value that I bring to the commissioners is a value of integrity and one of working together. And I would say within the, that word of integrity, there's lots of things that, that make up that word. One is honesty, one is listening, another is respect, Another is cooperation. Another is being professional, studying very dif difficult issues, complex issues, going to different departments such as ecology, Department of Revenue, going to the state departments that work with this issue and, and becoming an ep expert in a short period of time. Um, the UTC is interesting. It governs PSE, but what I have found with the Utilities and Transportation Commission is it's not quite like working within our county and other areas. A, a lot of our laws and a lot of the things that dictate what we do come from old laws that are federal and come down through the state. So. For me, to work with integrity means learning and learning more and educating the people and being kind to my fellow commissioners. And for me, it means even spending more time than the normal. It seems like that's all I've been doing, is studying this for the last four months. And I will continue to do that because I love to study. So that's what would make uh, I think that's what I would mainly bring. My intelligence, quite frankly, I would like to leave some of my emotions at the door and come in and work as an adult. Thank you. Steve. What was that question? The question is, what can voters expect to see as the principal value? Oh, the principal value. Okay. Yeah, that you bring. If I had to single out um, one value, it's my longtime commitment to public service. As I stated in my opening, I've been a public servant for, well, with the Division of Child Support 21 years, but beyond that with DSHS for nearly 23 years. I um, understand what it, it means to use public resources wisely for the benefit of the public, and I believe that um, that is the most important thing that I could take to the table of PD commissioners, is understanding just what it means to be a public servant. Thank you both. You now have each of you one minute for a closing statement. And Linda, we'll start with you. Thank you. 
I bring a total commitment to doing my best to represent the varied interests and values of the residents of this county. Research and development of safe energy technology is growing rapidly. Our future is exciting. Changes are just around the corner. Battery storage, solar, wind, sea, they are bringing to us to safe environmental ways of powering our lives. Furthermore, again, I do respect the voters. And if the voters choose to enter this field of electricity, I pledge to make all of my decisions based in the wisest way that I can to see that we can do, move ahead with this and diminish our risk factor. I will honor the voters. I work for the voters. I have always worked in this community. I've done community service all my life. So my criteria for making a solid decision, whether it be water, electricity, or any other energy, is to make certain that the ratepayers' bills do not increase. Thank you. I'm going to stop you now. Steve? Again, thank you very much, Legal Women Voters. Thank you, Mary. You're a fine moderator. <laughs> First of all, um, as I stated previously a couple of times now, I have a long history of public service in the community, working over 21 years for the Division of Child Support and serving as a shop steward and activist on my union for oh, nearly a, a quarter century. I am committed to public service. I want to expand my, my commitment to public service by becoming the next PUD commissioner. Please join working families like the Washington Federation of State Employees Local 443, the Thurston Lewis Mason Central Labor Council, Carpenters Local 129, and the Teamsters Local 252 who have endorsed me. I appreciate your time, I appreciate your support, and most of all, I appreciate your vote. Please vote for Steve Foss, and PUD Commissioner. Thank you. Thank you both. Thank you both. And thank you also to TCTV for all their support. Um, the League of Women Voters really appreciates the ability to be able to bring you these forums so that you can be more informed when you make your choices um, uh, on the ballot. And speaking of the ballot, please do not think about not voting. Thank you very much.